Now before we start learning how to enter in our overtime, we need to define what overtime is within our project. As you recall back in the level one training video when I set up my project calendar, I defined a working day as an eight hour day. So anything over eight hours would be overtime. If your typical work day is five hours, then of course anything over five hours would be overtime. So how much is that going to cost you to assign, uh, let's say, one resource working on a task, one overtime hour? Well, again, back in the level one training video, we set up our resources in the resource sheet view. Let's go over here and right click on our collapse view bar and go down to the resource sheet view. There's a list of all the resources, how much they charge an hour or how much they cost an hour. And then, of course, over here we have our overtime rate, which if you haven't set up, go ahead and do so. It doesn't automatically calculate it for you. You'll just have to punch it in over here. So we have our standard hourly rate for Rider 1, which is $15 an hour. And then if we hold to the standard of time and a half, then we have 15 hours plus half of that equals $22.50. And of course, you can type in whatever you want for the overtime rate. But again, if you want to adhere to the time and a half, then go ahead and type it in. It won't certainly flag you if you go beyond what you have here. For example, with Rider 2, it's double time. 30 bucks an hour instead of time and a half. Okay, now that we know that anything over eight hours within my project here is going to be overtime, and we know that we have the overtime rate set up, let's go ahead and start entering in some overtime hours. Now there are three places that you can enter overtime in, and they are your task usage view, your resource usage view, and your split window. Let's go ahead and do the uh, task usage view first. Come over here, right click on the collapse view bar, and go down and select task usage. Okay, in our task usage view, you have a listing of all your tasks here, and then below each task is the resources assigned to the task. So we've got task 5 completed here. Let's go down to task 7, and we have Rider 1 assigned to that uh, task. Let's scroll down just a bit here. Now we have our work field here, or the work column, but if you hover over that dividing bar and you click and drag it to the right, you'll see that you have no overtime column. You have to insert that manually. Well, you could ask me and say, well, can I insert the overtime column into any view? Yes, you can, but the only views that allow you to enter in any information within that column are the task usage view and the resource usage view. The split window doesn't have these columns here, and we'll cover that later in just a minute. So to insert the overtime field as a column, I'm going to come up here and right-click on the column header that I want to insert the uh, new column in front of. So when I right-click on it, I'm going to come down here and select Insert Column, type in O, and then scroll down to find my overtime. There it is, overtime work, select it, click OK, and there we go. So let me scroll back up just a little bit here. So we're looking at, again at Rider 1, working on the task, create an outline. In fact, now that I have the resource selected, I can come up here on the standard toolbar and click on the scroll to the task. And what it does over in the uh, right hand side of the pane in the grid, it takes me right to those two days, eight hours on Monday, eight hours on Tuesday, gives me a total of 16 working hours here. That's been assigned to this resource that's working on this task. So you're looking at this and saying, okay, he doesn't need any overtime because the typical work day is eight hours. Well, if I get some feedback and find out that the writer is going to take an extra couple of hours here because something has come up, I can come over here and increase his work hours by two, click off in a blank area, and then notice all the cells that are affected by that change. It increased the outline phases uh, total hours from 40 to 42. And then more particularly, notice the duration goes from two days to two and a quarter. And then you can come over here in the grid and you can see that there's still the eight hours on Monday and Tuesday, but it added the other two hours on Wednesday because again, the typical work day is only eight hours. It can't take that two hours and bump it up and say it's nine or 10. So to make that happen and to assign these two hours as overtime, we want to come over here in the overtime column and increase that by two hours, click off in a blank area, and notice the changes. First, the highlighted changes here. So instead of the duration of being two and a quarter days, it's now down to two days. And then over here in the grid, notice that instead of two hours on Wednesday, it's been uh, pulled back into Tuesday, where he's working eight hours on Monday and an extra two hours on Tuesday. Now you could say, well, why can't I have one hour on Monday and one hour on Tuesday? Well, as far as project schedule and budget calculations are concerned, it doesn't matter when the overtime hours are worked, only that they are worked. Okay, let's go ahead and hit undo a couple of times so we can go back to where we were, the original 16 hours, because we want to go to another view 
from the task usage view to right click on the collapse view bar and go down to the resource usage view and instead of the task being listed with the resources underneath now you have the resources with the task listed underneath that the resources are assigned to so rider one is assigned to all these resources go ahead and right click and insert your overtime work column again down to insert type in letter O and then select overtime click OK I already have it here and there's the task create outline now again it's no different than doing this in the task usage view except let me go ahead and click and drag and stretch this over we've got our 16 hours we have a different table here but we just have to scroll over to see the uh, work column there's the 16 hours increase it by two click off in a blank area and you can see the same things happening here over in the grid eight hours eight hours then two and then come over here and increase this by two hours for the overtime click off in a blank area the same thing happens okay undo undo so choose your weapon either the resource usage view or the task usage view or let's go back to the Gantt chart I'm gonna right click on the collapse view bar go back to the Gantt and then come up here on the window menu and go down to split as you recall in our level one training video now again we're looking at the create outline and it's a total of two days 16 hours and there's the resource assigned to it at 100% um, two days eight hours a day for two days at 16 hours now where do I go to enter in the overtime well if you right click in a blank area down below in the split window pane you can come down here and select resource work it opens it up to show you the uh, overtime work column so I can come over here increase the work by two click OK now you can see the duration is two and a quarter days come down here and give the overtime work of two hours click OK the durations cut back because now he's working two extra hours on one of those days is it the Tuesday or is it the Monday well we can go back to the task usage view and find out which day has the overtime but again as far as projects concerned with the schedule and budget calculations it doesn't matter when the overtime hours are worked only that they are worked so as you recall to get rid of the split I can double click really fast on that split line and then right click on the collapse view bar go back to the resource usage view there it is create the outline by rider one and you can see over here in the grid that eight hours on the first day and the two overtime hours are on the second day now you're probably wondering and looking at this and saying okay why does he have eight hours on creating an outline for rider one and then above that on the same day he has another task at four hours I mean that's a total of 12 hours isn't he over allocated shouldn't we um, give him extra overtime well yes you should except that this task I have already marked completed if it wasn't marked completed these would be in red showing that he's over by four hours in which case I could go ahead and give him some overtime for this day so he's not over allocated in fact you can already see some flaws in my project plan here let me go back to the Gantt chart and right click on the collapse view bar go to the Gantt chart and you can see that rider one is assigned to all these tasks and he started earlier on this task which means he's working on both tasks at the same time which means he can only work one eight hour day so this other task he's working eight hours on would be considered overtime so hopefully by this example you can keep this in mind when you're setting up your own project that when you have any overlapping tasks like this that they're going to be over allocated here because rider one working on both tasks at the same time here at least during that portion of time is going to be over allocated not only that but because these tasks here aren't directly linked up to this one down below you can see that the rider one working on this task is going to be working at the same time on that task as well so in a perfect world I would have this task finish then start in the next task then that task and then go to the next one and not have the relationships or links broken here so we can continue on in a uh, continuous format the relationship that I like best again is when that this task must finish before the next task can start in any case in summary here I wanted to show you that you didn't have to stick to that pattern and that you can really have some challenging work on your project if you uh, start changing your relationships or don't have them linked up in a nice easy to follow format but then again what project has ever gone perfect so you won't be flagged for these except for your over allocated resources which won't be flagged if you've marked them complete already as we just learned over here in the uh, resource usage view that rider one the reason why he's not over allocated again is because he completed this task and this task has yet to be completed creating the outline
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.